Hi everyone, I'm Rui and this is the last video of our event and job management demo series that describes the media service digital supply chain use case. In this video, we will take a look at OTT distribution. Let's get into it. This is the overview of a digital supply chain use case where a customer can purchase services from a fictitious service provider, the Zine organization, through their own tailored customer portal. The event is immediately received by the Zine event planning team, which approves the event. Jobs are assigned to MCR, production and other teams in the organization. The end goal is to stream a live feed transcoded in AWS and get it out on Media Package and YouTube. In this video, we will be addressing the OTT distribution of the live event. This is what the Media Data Center team will see when they open the Data Miner MDC app. This is the visual overview of the OTT service in charge of streaming the Jets v Dolphins match over AWS. When the event started, Dataminer has automatically created a deployment with several cloud resources thanks to its integration with AWS CloudFormation. The OTT stream is not only made available to connected devices, but also as a social media live stream. Media Connect is being used to ingest live video from a remote event site. Dataminer is able to pull Media Connect metrics and display them here. We have things like ingest IP, which will be important later on, protocol, status of the service and the source, as well as bit rates. Media Live is a broadcast grade live video processing service. It encodes live video streams in real time and distributes it to your viewers. Like before, we have its associated metrics listed up here, like what's the status, traffic, alerts, and more. Media Package prepares and protects your video for delivery over the internet. It creates video streams formatted to play on connected devices. Again, we're pulling some of this resources data to display it up here. Now, let us connect a source to the Media Connect service. In this case, I'm using my phone to push a Zixi stream to the ingest IP. Since I'm not really at the stadium capturing a football match, you're gonna have to contend with my face. We can now see some traffic activity flowing through the different services. There are proper bit rates at the ingest resource, in the encoder network input and output too, and also on the media package channel. These flows are better depicted on the trend graphs below displaying the traffic behavior over time across the different service points. Media Package makes the resultant video stream available at the public endpoints that can be accessed by clicking here on the channel. When you do, you will be taken to a media player in your browser to watch the live video. Finally, Media Live has been also configured to push the video to social media as an additional output. As a result, you can also view the live stream on YouTube by following the link displayed on the visual overview. Service definitions play a very important role here. Remember that you might have a very big AWS deployment running multiple Media Live services and other resources. With the ability to identify AWS resources, Dataminer can build tailored perspectives and views around that one service, displaying only all metrics that are relevant to it. This concludes our event and job management demo. Congrats if you made it this far. We have shown you the full process since ordering the event as a customer, managing it at admin and technical levels through the perspective of different teams and different apps. We have seen collaboration tools and how to monitor and manage the live event, as well as its OTT distribution. Do visit our Open Dojo community for anything, everything, ICT, media, and broadband. I hope you enjoyed this series, and I will see you next time.